hello fellow humans fail um so today i'm gonna be showing you how to fix your orange pie if it doesn't work um have you ever tried turning it on and then it just shows you on the ethernet only the ethernet lights are on well that's the most common problem which every pie user have on the orange pie yeah so you know why you get that issue is because of guess what you don't have a proper framework yeah yeah <laughs> it's true um well this all winner h3 needs a uh, firmware file to load it doesn't have anything it's dumb you need to program it and then it will run properly yeah it's true so the first thing you want to do is you want to obviously go to their website oh my god Orange by dot organization. Now you want to go to resources, download, and then you want to find your orange pie. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's such an easy thing. So you want to find orange pie one or any any other. I'm using orange pie one slash orange pie PC. Um, I'm just gonna get Raspbian because because because. Okay, you know what? Never mind. Just, just continue. Okay. Once you download it, it's, don't expect that this will work easily with uh, Win32 disk imager. You actually need to extract it. You Linux user, you'll know what I'm talking about. So um, I already downloaded it and extracted it with WinRAR. WinRAR. Yeah, that's going to be in the description too. Mm. So, obvious. And this uh, following software is going to be there too. Once you've extracted, you'll have a image file. It's raw not ISO ISO is compressed I mean you know compiled whatever um, now for the Android it's different so put the Android aside that won't work uh, because you need another software called Phoenix card it's for use for Android tablets or any generic um, Chinese anywho the first thing you want to do is insert not disconnect insert your SD card must be eight gigabytes or higher i just formatted this because why not um if you want to click right click on the sd format name it yeah no no man let's name it anything you want i'll just call it fruity pie uh, this should be a fruity pie That'll be amazing if there is. Introducing Fruity Pie. Never mind. Okay, so now you want to launch Win32 Disk Imager. Um, it needs admin rights, unfortunately. But obviously, it needs to write files. Right? So, now you want to go to your file managers and see what did you format as. So, it's minus F, the drive letter. Um, so, you want to find F. And then you want to choose the well, image file. So again, you have to extract the .xz file. So I'm just gonna format it with the Raspbian. Because, why not? Um, you want to write that this might take over 3 minutes. Yes, exactly, I know. The person like me who has no patience wants to literally destroy a laptop. Yes, that's true. Um, so you just want to write the file. It's gonna take four to five minutes. So record that time at the bottom, 11.38. Or maybe it'll take longer, I'm not sure. It depends. This file is three gigs. So, yeah. While that's happening, you can, um, you know, watch anything. Like, literally, it's... It's, it's gonna take a very long time 10 to 5 minutes or 3 to 5 minutes it's, it's gonna take long very long um, yeah I'll be right back when it's done so once it's done all you need to do is take out your SD card well technically it's small so yeah it's gonna be a little bit pain for the people but they can oops offensive um, <clears throat> so now all you need to do is put the pie and put the SD card in your 
uh, orange color. Now I'll go back with my camera on. So yeah, I will see you back. So as you can see, I've made a modification to my Pi. So if um, so I don't have this connector, all you need to do now is insert this SD card when it's focused. Yeah. So as you can see, this has the HDMI port, obviously. Now let me first show you the problem uh, without the SD card. So let's see. W look closely at the Ethernet cable, Ethernet ports. Wait. Okay, that's about it. Um, this is a webcam, so it's a very bad quality. I was. There you go. So as you can see, that's the problem with um without any bootloader on the SD. So. I don't have a HDMI monitor to show you, nothing will pop up, no shell commands, no anything. It will just stay like this, even though you connect the HDMI ca uh, cable. Um, as you can see, the chip, it's not started, it's not getting warm like it usually does. Um, so, it has no code, it has no commands, so what will you do? So, I'm just gonna uh, turn it off, insert the SD, and let's see if it's happened. Sorry about that. So, you want to uh, put your SD card in, and as you can see, plug it in. Now you should see a red light once you uh, connect it. The, once you popped in the uh, SD card. Now I wouldn't recommend you touch moving this a lot because it, it's it doesn't have any moving components. So don't as SSD everything so there you go after some time it will start to blink and turn off that's mean it's successfully in Raspbian now the password is um, root I mean the username is root and the password is orange pie uh, I please tell me how to use the GPI open because I haven't I still haven't figured out all I'm doing I I'm making a custom of a custom Linux based uh, operating system for this so th that's probably it and I will show you that my voice um, rooted in Raz Razzle, this uh, computer now my friends saw this is a chip and a motherboard well if something is not in the case it doesn't mean it's a chip or a motherboard so yeah we are back